just in the past few moments alone, I've slipped on my bum, my phone fell in a pile of cow shit, I slightly sprained my ankle, I hit my head on a tree. Uh, yeah, so I think it's definitely fair to say that I do not have appropriate footwear on, or perhaps I don't have the appropriate body to be up here. So today is my last day in Kirsten, this lovely little village. I have to say I have spent more time here than I thought I would. It's just been very calming and recuperating for me. Recuperative? Not sure about that one. But it's been a really nice relaxing experience. It's been pretty horrible weather as well. Yesterday and today isn't great. So it's been good to just spend that time, you know, partner about. Running some errands, bought some uh, motorbike gear that I needed. I am feeling though, for the first time, that a little bit lonely. Uh, I had that feeling, sort of, a, it came to be a couple of days ago already. I was up this mountain road, the beautiful Panorama Street that I was talking about. And uh, there were just so many big groups of bikers, everyone was just there in a group and I was there alone. Just so it hit me. I was just being a bit socially awkward, didn't really know um, how to interact with people in a normal human way. You know, why am I doing all this? I'm out here alone. I'm on a bike camping, mostly in the rain. I just want to go back home. I was having one of those moments. And I realized I think it's because I've also settled too much now in Kirsten. Got too comfortable. And when you get too comfortable, it becomes more difficult again to overcome that, you know, going back into the rain, going back into that tent, back into the cold, back onto that bike with all the luggage. Once you're in the flow of that, it's your experience, your life in that moment. And you don't challenge it or question it. So that's why today is my last day in Kirsten. Um, and tomorrow I'm gonna hit the road again direction Bergelschewald and then up through the Czech Republic so some real nice little backcountry streets which looks like it's sort of as close to off-road as I'll get on this trip and on my last day I'm climbing up the Rudersburg which is a little local mountain nothing too crazy I think it's about a thousand meters above sea level from a panorama perspective you just have a look at the weather today It's um, a little bit moist and cloudy. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to see that much up there. I will get the exercise in, it'll be good for my, for my psyche. And when you're having a sort of down moment, it's good to keep active, keep doing things, challenging yourself. Uh, and obviously it's good for my back as well, my legs, my big belly, so. So yeah, I am gonna hit the trail. I'm already pretty out of breath, as you can probably hear. Um, not the fittest. Catch you guys in a bit. So focused there on the time warp and uh, filming the walk and making myself look really athletic and speedy, which uh, I can guarantee you in reality it was far from that. Um, but in so doing, I completely missed my turn. So I now need to walk all that way back. Uh, hopefully the footage comes out well and you guys think I'm really athletic. That's all that matters, right? I am officially no longer lonely. I now have my goat buddies. Um, I am absolutely fucking knackered already. Um, and I haven't even reached the first of the two peaks yet. I'm only at about 800 meters. I've taken four or five breaks, drank water continuously, drained it from the tube, and uh, sort of loosely used the excuse of needing to fly the drone to get a good shot, but I think really, 
it was my organs protesting. But onwards and upwards, a little drizzle of rain came, but so far, nothing too heavy. So I am gonna pour on and get to the top, pal. the top all the way this is probably child's play for most hikers <laughs> um haven't sweated a single bit not out of breath at all could easily go on all day like this um but i think it's important just to take a moment and to reflect on the uh, achievements and the the prize at the end of the walk and the prizes this panoramic view baby Woo! Oh, mama! My camera can't get enough! Ah, God, I don't know where to start. Drone, time lapse, night lapse, auto warp. It's all in the bag up here. I'm sure it's no, there is a prize. And that is the following. Let's just sit down. Prize number one. Prize number two, I have some fresh, beautifully fresh coffee. And I haven't had a single uh, a sip of coffee yet today, so. It's going to be the first sip of the day, which is very exciting. And I have two little sandwiches that I made, which I'm also very excited to devour. Just in the past few moments alone, I've slipped on my bum, my phone fell in a pile of cow shit, I slightly sprained my ankle, I hit my head on a tree. Uh, yeah, so I think it's definitely fair to say that I do not have appropriate footwear on, or perhaps I don't have the appropriate body to be up here. 
this these shoes are not good and i'm so thankful that it has not rained yet because god knows what it would have been like if it had uh, and it actually looks like it might not rain the clouds are clearing onto the next peak almost there and uh yeah, let's just try and make it there without needing a stretcher second peak was a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. I thought it would just be similar to the first and I'd sort of be at the same height as the first peak and I'd just walk along the ridge but actually I descended quite far a good sort of 500 meters and then had to ascend those 500 again on really craggy rock. It was a tough tough surface to walk on and <laughs> I've only got trainers on with literally no tread so a little bit anxious about the way down it will be a bit of slip and sliding. All right, I'm gonna enjoy the panoramic views once again.